Hello children, we are going to start with the practicals and the very first practical is related to your very first chapter that is force. So kids if you remember we have done principle of moments, I am just giving you statement again that is sum of clockwise moments is equal to sum of clock anti-clockwise moments in equilibrium. I am repeating in equilibrium is the keyword, right? So this is the setup to prove principle of moments. For that we are using a meter scale, right? A known weight is there and how come this is known weight? It is written there if you check out. It's written here. It is weight. So it is 20 gram force. It is not 20 gram because gram is for mass, right? We are, we are talking about weight and as I've already told you principle of moments is applicable for weight. Even, even if in numericals you get it, you have to convert it in gram force or kgf and this is the unknown weight. I want to find out the weight of this metallic bob, right? So how we are going to proceed? Uh, this is your meter scale, right? And since it's a symmetrical object, so I'm aware where the CG is going to lie. So if I'm telling you this is meter scale, meter scale means 100 centimeter. So I think you can make out. Actually, I should be getting it at 50 centimeter as the CG. Okay, let's see whether we are getting it or it is something else. And if it is something else, then why it is something else? Because theoretically we have learned that the symmetrical objects, for symmetrical objects, the CG is exactly the geometrical center. So I'm trying to adjust it. I'm trying to adjust this scale at 50 because we know that at CG we are able to balance the body. Sometimes you have your 15 centimeter scale. You try to balance it on your finger and you're able to balance it. You can try it at home, right? So this is, but if you check out here, I'm not able to balance it because it is swinging. It is given you which moment? Can you tell me? This is your clockwise moment. And if it is swinging this way, this is giving me anti-clockwise moment, right? This is giving me anti-clockwise moment. It means, again, I need to shift the position so that I get, I am able to balance it. Again, it is giving me clockwise. It means, again, I need to shift. I need to shift. Again, I need to shift. I think it is balanced. Care yeah, should be taken because no, nothing should be supporting the meter scale, right? Nothing should be supporting. And if you check out here, two threads are there. You have to make it sure that every time you use the same thread as your reference point. Means if I'm going to take reading using the first thread, it should always be first thread or it can be second thread. It's up to you, right? So this is how I'm going to balance it. Now it's giving me clockwise moment, right? So here again I'm balancing, it's giving me clockwise. Again I need to shift. Again I need to shift. Uh, uh, this is how I'm going to, to balance it. I think I'm able to, yes, and it's coming out to be 49.5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is coming out to be 49.9, not exactly 50. What could be the reason? The reason is because the scale may be uneven. You can find out here actually uh, uh, at few places it is, it's not regular, right? And it may be that dust is there and it is just sticking to the scale and it may be the one of the reasons. I mean, rather I've given you two reasons, right? So now what is to be done? I, I want to find out the weight of this unknown, ob this, uh, unknown uh, weight of this object and I'm going to hang it on the right hand side. Known weight is to be hang here. Now suppose I decided to hang it at 30 centimeter. Now what is my job? I have to, it is just like a beam balance. Suppose you have a weight, right? Now what is your job? You have to balance it in such a way, weight is fixed. I can't change the weight right but I can change the length right can you see it is giving me clockwise moment it means I have to adjust it in such a way that
can you see it's almost done it's almost done I think it's almost done right so now what is to be done see here what is the effective length here sum of clockwise moment this is your clockwise moment this is my known weight 20 gram force and what is the effective length I need to subtract it from from CG if you remember this is 49.9 and this is 30 here so what is the effective length it is 19.9 centimeters and what about this W2 is not known to me right this is what I have to find out and what is the effective length here this is 65 this is 65 and this is I think 49.9 so if you if you substitute it in the formula you remember the formula of principle of moments w1 l1 is equal to w2 l2 w1 l1 w2 l2 so this is the unknown quantity that I have to find out and other three quantities are known to me so this is how we find the weight of this object given to me using principle of moments now uh, this is the first reading then how to have the second reading second reading is just change the place just suppose it was 30 before now let it be 20 now right and now again I have to adjust again I have to adjust in such a way that it gets balanced right and I think it is balanced maybe because of this support yes again I need to I have to work in such a way that it gets balanced and if you check out this is the way sometimes it gives you swing the best thing is to just hold it like this so that it don't move and I think it is again balanced right so again W1 is known to me just find out L1 again it is 20 49.9 means 49.9 minus 20 and this is W2 I have to find out and again this is L2 this is I think if this is 72.5 or 4, right? Just subtract it from the uh, subtract CG from 72.4, or uh, yes, I think 4, and then you just substitute it in the formula, and you, this way you'll be getting the answer. So this is how you are going to work from principle of moments. Thank you.